Cyborgs are pretty cool. No, cyborgs are more than just pretty cool. They're universally dope. And they have a presence in literally every type of media. I mean, Terminator and Robocop are both iconic for all moviegoers. Cyborg from Teen Titans is like the best character in the show. Well, maybe second to Raven, but still. Comics, anime, video games, and even National Geographic has multiple specials about cyborgs or robotics. So yeah, they're pretty firmly in the human subconscious. But what happens when you combine a cyborg, a ninja, and a Norse Valkyrie? You get Alita Battle Angel and some of the coolest action scenes in film, period. And I think it's possible to become just as epic as she is, but in real life. And in this series, that's what I'm here to do. So let's break it down. What's up guys, it's the only ninja wearing aviators and super superhero hat and welcome to the Modern Ninja. This is our fight like a superhero series where I teach you how to become a real life version of your favorite characters from TV, movies, video games, anime, and more. And then teach you something you can actually practice in your backyard wherever you are. So stick around for that. But today we're doing Alita Battle Ranger, obviously, and let's get started. So obviously Alita is built different like literally not only is she a robot but she is one of the best when it comes to actual combat she has physical enhancements to her speed her strength and her agility so to up all of those things in our personal um physical abilities we're going to spec into gymnastics gymnasts are some of the most impressive and well-rounded athletes out there able to control and move their body in some amazing ways being strong enough to do the iron cross and agile enough to do a triple backflip and land flawlessly will definitely put you at the Alita level as far as her physical abilities go. And so that's why gymnastics is gonna be the first step to becoming Alita in real life. But I know we really want to recreate the fighting style as well, so let's get into that part. Her style is very well balanced between grappling and strapping, which honestly is fairly rare nowadays, especially with women in media. So this is really a cool fight style to incorporate into your real life training. But we're gonna start off with a base of Jeet Kune Do. For those that don't know already, Jeet Kune Do is a martial art philosophy conceived and practiced by none other than Bruce Lee. It's designed to be an intelligent martial art. Well, what makes it intelligent? Well, let me explain. We have all heard the quote, be like water. Well, this style embodies that perfectly, teaching its practitioners to be able to flow and survive in any situation. In order to do this, they need to be well-balanced and well-rounded in the things that they can do, from groundwork to striking, grappling, and so on, all while learning and adapting to new innovations in the martial arts world, which is why it's perfect for Alita, a literal robot that learns and adapts from her opponent. And next, we're going to add a little bit of Taekwondo. Alita is able to combine her gymnastics and kicking skills in ways that is both powerful and absolutely beautiful, pulling off all inspiring moves to land her blows in a very powerful fashion. And there's almost nothing in my opinion that's better for helping you combine gymnastics with martial arts than Taekwondo, at least for this specific situation. TKD does have all kinds of striking from punches, elbows, knees, all that stuff, but we're going to focus on the kicks and more specifically the high advanced flying kicks. So your tornado kicks and other things like that. Any kick that jumps or spins or does some crazy combination of the two will be definitely good to put in our wheelhouse. Then we get into some Aikido. Aikido is famous for being able to use other people's weights against them. And just because Alita is an amazing robot doesn't mean she can just overpower all the other bots out there. She fights some pretty big ones. But Aikido will allow us to still adapt to other opponents regardless of how strong they may be. Using their weight against them like a weapon to throw them into the ground or into walls or into chairs, whatever it is. And then we sprinkle in some judo and should be able to throw enemies for days. Like I'm talking non-stop. Judo being one of the most prominent forms of wrestling in the world, being actually in the Olympics since 1967. These two martial arts skills should make sure we have all the skills we need when it comes to throwing enemies around like sandbags. Lastly, Alita is able to use weapons of opportunity to the fullest. Basically, that means anything that she comes across is a weapon. The ball during a super violent sporting event, that's a weapon. The jacket you happen to be wearing, yep, that's my weapon too. A random bottle at the bar, yep, also a weapon. The literal table that that bottle was sitting on, yes. 
still a weapon. So we are gonna spec in Takali, also known as Arnis. It is the national martial art of the Philippines that specializes in weapon work. In fact, in many schools, they teach people how to use clubs and bat before even learning how to throw a correct punch. I bet they could even hit the like and the subscribe button with a Kali stick even faster than you could with your fingers. So give it a tap and find out. But then that martial art expands into some of the cleanest knife machete and stick combat in the world, which makes this a perfect fit for Alita because pretty much everything could be a stick, a knife, or some variation of that. You find a random bat laying around, that's your stick. You find a crowbar, that's your stick. You find a frying pan sitting on the stove, stick. It all works the same, and so it's all perfect for Alita's martial arts style. So now that we know what we have to train to be like a leader, let's take it one step further and time to learn an actual move that you can practice at home featuring my apprentice. Hello everyone, I'm Elise and I'm going to be teaching you how to do a tornado kick like a leader battle angel. All right, to start off with our first step, I'm going to bring our right leg over and do one knee and the other direction. Okay, that one knee and the other direction. I just figured I'd let you guys know that there's new merch in the store. Like, if you didn't even know I had a store, I have a merch store, and there's new merch in it. So, definitely go check it out. There might be something you like, there might not be, but, you know, you never know until you know. So, go check it out. Links down in the description. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you want to see more, check out the Fight Like a Superhero playlist down below or in the, in the corner. You know how to find the playlist, guys. You, I'm sure you can figure it out because I've done plenty of characters from there. And if you have a character you want me to do that I haven't done, drop it down in the comments. I definitely read them and I put them on the list, I swear. It might take me a time because I edit all these videos by myself and it makes me want to die a little bit, but... We'll get there. But until next time, my name's DJ Moore. This is The Modern Ninja, and I'm out. If you like this video, check out this one about Zoro's three sword style from One Piece, or this other one you do think you might like as well. Either way, I'll see you guys in the next one. Got me going farther than I ever thought I could have been. Gotta grab a sheet of paper as you know I got the pink. Anybody want to smoke your whole career be looking grim. Out here flashing chains while your boy been in the gym. Watch me spitting flames while the frogs try to...